feel kujua watu wanakupenda hivyo humbling it's huh? very humbling it's very humbling Oof, you have no idea sasa ngine hata walai growing up wakati unakuwa ukiwa mtoto mdogo nitakukaribisha mm-hmm. rasmi mm-hmm. lakini nataka tuanzie hapo hapo penye tuko yes. growing up wakati unakuwa ulikuwa ni mtoto wa kupendwa pale kijijini unajua kuna wale watoto ambao kila jirani usema wewe kwa kama lui wewe kama lui mtoto tu fulani ambaye anapendwa na kila mtu ulikuwa ni mtoto aina hiyo ama hili limetokea ulipoingia kwa tv no eh, nilikuwa mtu wa watu especially mm-hmm. uh, mama alikuwa ananiambia kila wakati uh, kila mtu akija nyumbani lazima nishike so nilikuwa na i think it starts attraction kwa watu so pia nilikuwa mcheshi and i was just a lovely bubbly young boy mm-hmm. everyone would want to be around me play with me and yeah uh, i was that person oh. yes. high school ulikuwa watu watu kuongoza strike hapana hapana pia watu kama hao prefect by the way prefect mm-hmm. yes entertainment prefect na ulipa ah. ulipa ulipa tu prefect ili urekebike unajua kuna watoto wengine hupa wa prefect mm-hmm. ndo waingie laini mm-hmm. so ulipewa ndo waingie laini ama kwa sababu ulikuwa tu ni mtoto mzuri me was a good student i was a good boy huh? your prefect yangu hiyo ilikuja out of merit mm-hmm. na venye nile nilienda ma, mashambani i was like ai hapana we need to do something about entertainment cuz mm-hmm. haikuwa Mm-hmm. So what I'm going to introduce. Did you have a bad week but kuna magazines going to insider mm-hmm. during that time. Yeah. Nika introduce kwa shule. So mm-hmm. at least mkumu ikakuwa mm-hmm. kwa limelight ikakuwa ikijulikana. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mkumu boys. Yes. Mkumu boys. Yes. Team tsunami. Team tsunami. Yeah. <laughs> Who are your teachers? <laughs> Tuwaulize sai. Wanasikiliza mkumu uh, boys. Mr. Mr. Temesi, uh-huh. principal alikuwa Mr. Luke Rambo. Uh-huh. But I think alitoka, but uh-huh. Mr. Temesi alikuwa mwalimu wangu, Madam Simwa alikuwa uh-huh. mwalimu wangu wa literature. So yeah, salamu ziwafikie. Okay. Ati <laughs> flani. Letter, letter, letter. Wewe ni designer, mimi una shona, una shona suit. Una keti, una kachini kwa chereani na nashona suit. Nzuri tena. Unajua kutumia chereani? Yes. Unajua kulikuwa na zile za kukanyaga hivi lakini kuna hizi za stima. Singa, singa. Ile Ile singa. Kwa mimi nilijifunza na mamangu. Oh. Yes. Alikuwa anafanya anachukua kitambaa na unganisha hivyo. So I had to advance and do a short course on tailoring cuz I, i used i used to want a specific designer siko anapata mm. kila mali ukenda kunua suti unapata suti kwa oversize haiko venye unataka so kuna pattern fulani nilikuwa nataka na siko nipata so i had to learn it that's why we hiyo ndio mambo lizoma campus no uh-uh. <laughs> ana kitu fanya campus hizo makaratasi sijui zinanisaidia vipi sahi maishani nilimaliza na mambo ya computer engineering nikaka kama hata sijaini ni fortilia wewe ni suti designer yes i am anyone who wants suti tu pekee kama designer tu hata sasa hizi nikitaka kaunda suti itawai kuja kwanza hata nzuri hata kushinda zile za wakati wa kaunda Wacha niulize. Yes. Kuna kitu umetaja hapa. Mm. University yes. you did, ulifanya computer engineering. Yes. Na haujatumia hayo makaratasi. Kwani what happened? Uli ilikuwa ni kitu lilazimishwa ama mm-hmm. uh, I loved computers from the word go. Nilikuwa hata nikiwa mdogo nilikuwa naletoa vitu na nazifunganisha na angalia. Nilifa, nilipenda mm-hmm. then i think interest ilibadilika um, and i was more into cause be high school the same high school i used to do journalism mm-hmm. so hiyo interest ya journalism ikakuja pia mm-hmm. so i had to go back again and do a short course in journalism mm-hmm. and then later on pia communication ikaingia mm-hmm. so now it's more of communication strategy cause mm-hmm. I'm, a, i'm a communication officer side of being a nini a designer mm-hmm. so now it's more of communication but now you uh, kuigiza pia mm-hmm. ilikuwa mm-hmm. yes so it, it goes hand in hand mm-hmm. yeah, journalism artists mm-hmm. goes hand in hand so mm-hmm. you know ika simultaneously in the streamline most of these things mm-hmm. yes thing nafanyia baba na mama yes. wewe wakati una okay mama wakati unamwambia wewe unataka kujifunza tena mm-hmm. mm-hmm. aliku support now for my mom it was funny mm-hmm. because My mom is a very stylish woman. Mm-hmm. Na yeye kuna mtazamio fulani alitaka si sote tukue tukifanana. Yeah. Oh. So your interest was like hey, he's too particular on certain things. Yeah. And then how pia vinyali kwa nakanyaga hiyo chereani I'm like mm-hmm. hey, okay. 
this is nice mm. this is nice so your interest pia ilikuwa because even my mom uh, is an orthopedic by profession so you mambo ya kushona tunakiwa tuna muda wake tu hiyo tu ndo alikuwa anaishona hiyo so mean ka gain your interest yeah. but initially my dad ndo alikuwa na mkazo lazima kuwe civil yeah. engineer hapo kidogo nikamwambia eh hapo haiwezi mm. sasa hiyo napenda computer mm ni computer ina engineering so mm. kidogo nika ape eh, mm-hmm. ngeyo saidia computer engineering sasa mm. but i loved nini computers and i think me too uh, with time interest pay ka change kidogo and then nikavuka hii saidia communication umefika sasa wakati ume no. uh, my father alikuwa na vitabu vingi sana vya uh, ugizaji from uh, Martin of Venice, Romeo and Juliet. Hizo vitu zote za Shakespeare alikuwa nazo. So I think she he planted that seed ya kusoma na hiyo ugizaji. So kila mara pengine alikuwa anasoma kitu na ilikuwa inanisaundia very funny especially my dad loves anything to do with Caesar. Mm-hmm. So vile alikuwa anaigiza I was like wow inaka vizuri alikuwa mwenyewe aigiza eh uh-huh. anasema tu anakukotia anaku kitu na eh okay sima hii inaka vizuri uh-huh. so akihepa kena kazi mimi nakimbia kidogo naenda nachukua hiyo play na iangalia uh-huh. na ikrao naenda kwa kio na jaribu kufanya venye alikuwa anafanya jioni akikuja namfanyia uh-huh. anafurahia anasema ah kazi nzuri so hapo ugizaji sasa ukaanzia hapo so all along from primary high school i've always been a performer okay. and yes that's why you know the passion of acting has always been that Yes. Yeah, Louis has a big ying. story. <laughs> Ana vitu vingi nakwambia. Itabidi tumoje. Ni muda huu. Itabidi tumoje. Ni yapo yani. Itabidi na ni sio anafaa kwa ofisini. Anyway, tutajua baadaye. Nataka sasa tuzame baada ya Maria. Manake ulilipuka sana baada ya Maria sasa. What happened? Maria haijarudi kwa screen. Wewe hatujakuona kama umerudi kwa screen. Yes. Uko wapi? Alright. Uh, immediately after Maria, I decided I need two years break. Ah. Yes. Reason being is uh, kama msanii ukifanya kazi na hiyo kazi iwe nzuri. Sasa so zingine you need that time for your face to face off. And then when you get another project, you try and be better than the last project. So that was the main idea why sijachukua ta most of the project. That watu wamekuwa complain why why why. I needed that two years break at least need to be hata need detox, need roll then next now when I get another uh, project now i can now fully concentrate because it's it's usually tricky mm. try to balance and be in a new shoe watu wakumbuka bado ule lui and still it's a challenge watu wamejua lui 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 ni ngumu kutoka but aside from that i'm a communication strategist so i consult for people i do more of the communication strategy for them uh people even in probably uh in the political arena i seek for my service i do consultation for them and uh you know me quick in we at least ni kwe busy and that's why it's jakuwa very active uh what works in moment of happy mbona tukuoni niko lakini i'm doing something aside from no acting acting plani bali tuona mtu tofauti na hilo nyingine ameishika so every every professional actor lazima you do role kwa umekuwa ukikata yes. projects wanakualika wanakuambia Louis hapa kuna script yes, yes. wanakualika kuchukua scripts umekuwa oh, ukikata yes. oh yes huh? mimi kwa nikikata hata tumekuwa <laughs> nimekuwa na shida sana watu wakisema ah ujamaa pengine anaringa na sikuringa wewe mwenyewe unajua mbona unafanya hivyo sikuringa niyo you want to be role na pia at least ili kazi ulifanya pale mwanzoni at least hiyo iko kivyake sasa tukishika nyingine iko totally different from what you do previously so that's why and are you now ready umefika ule wakati ambao oh, yes. unaisi oh, kama yes. saizi ukipewa script yes you're ready to hit oh, our yes. screens again oh yes after two years are done so yes now i can get another project and run with it kuna yote ulionayo mfukoni ama unayo sai uh, we are still in talks uh watu wame pitch a few scripts so we are still in talks uh, lazima pia najua you can't just take any other thing mm-hmm. lazima uangalie role gani inakufaa sana so that's we still in talks so when i see probably to kill on this particular script or project 
then yeah we will run with it na una kama umepreempt ama kama umenisoma akili zangu maana mm-hmm. kilikuwa nataka sasa nikuulize eh, ni role gani ambayo ukapewa leo mm-hmm. aah hawezi ukaifanya unasema santeni sana uh, for now i think I, i'm up to the task mm. i'm up to the task of any challenge okay, cuz ifanya <laughs> <laughs> Neza ifanya. Bora hiyo storyline ya ina uzito fulani. Cuz storyline is everything. Uh-huh. Ina uzito fulani. Mm. I will gladly do it. Cuz uh, I think for me right now is to challenge myself. Sitaki ku stereotype my character as ule jamaa wa mapenzi and that's it. So every other role ni hiyo inaegemea upande huo mmoja. Ah. Na kama hapo ndo uzito wako upo? Ni sawa, lakini sitaki kufanya stories za mapenzi sana. Nataka at least mimi niji challenge nijue eh pia naweza fanya hii. Mtu mbaya, nataka niji challenge. Isiko tu ni yule mtu wa mapenzi, mtu wa mapenzi basi. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bolas, boxers, yeah. actors, hata watangazaji, wana muziki unasikia kwamba after some time hiyo fame yote ana kitu, mm-hmm. you know. And uh, I don't know how we we umeji, u, u, you know most people kitoka venye wamesema ukitoka nje acting unasikia tena maisha ni malipo kia hawana yes, yes. namna wewe ume, ume maintainaje because vile umesema ukiwa maria you know the expectation oh, yes, yes. lifestyle you know yeah. ume maintainaje after hapo because ndio na juu na biashara na kadhalika ili i'm just looking at it and saying where do people go wrong mm-hmm. kesi unasikia kwamba fulani amefika depression yes. mm-hmm. to chat anataka tutangie yeah. anataka achangie yeah. kwa mitandao yeah. yeah. na mpaka there was a, a Kenyan ambaye alikuwa si celebrity akasema ah nyinyi celebrities mnatubeba mm-hmm. wana yes. mnatubeba ujinga yes. we yes. support you on screens mm-hmm. we support you with your projects yes. Alafu bado leo hii unaishi na pesa sisi tena tuje tukuchangie na ulikuwa yes. una make pesa nyingi kunishinda mimi mkenya wa kawaida mm-hmm. mm-hmm. for me to be this um, before you touch on any rule just know why am i doing this mm-hmm. that is very important because there is life after any particular project itaisha at one point so i usually tell my close colleagues for you to sustain yourself get something that will be regenerating something back to you because ukweli usemwe ukisema kenya hii ukisema you will depend on artistry you won't survive mm-hmm. that's the honest truth so you have to have something that again if ikiisha bado utarudi kwa hii plan nyingine and you will sustain yourself because mm-hmm. most mo, mo, most most of the time most of the artist usually just do a project alafu pesa usanini tamu sana ju inaingia and most of the time it's not even taxed mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. ikiingia ni tamu so uno na iko haizi isha but you don't plan hapo mbele itakuwaaje that's where most people usually go wrong but if we go back to the drawing board na mtu aweze ku plan na jipange aseme okay fine hii pesa inaingia ni kiasi fulani hii percentage nitaeka hapa itafanya kitu fulani 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 then we will we will kill this thing of oh kipindi fulani imeisha nimerudi nichangie 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 that's where we usually go wrong we don't plan for the future so that is an individual responsibility yes, yes. ni individuals ambao wenyewe wana fail yes. ama wanahitaji waweke kwa darasa wafunzwe it will even help by the way it will even help because most of the time unajua you as a person you usually go the extra mile to enlighten yourself and learn new zingine ni income ya utakuta probably all clients wako eh wapi lui kuna i commercial kuna na most artists pia wana benefit na hapo i don't know wewe hauko kwa hiyo mambo ya advertising na nini wetu ni i'm there but i'm very picky Oh, uh-huh. what type of commercial am i doing because mimi i'm mm. a family brand yes yes so anything that touches the family setup mm. i will gladly do mm. but kama haigusi mambo ya familia mm. siezi gusa because mm-hmm. pia una pass uangalie e brand ni kigusa because there is usually that buyout mm-hmm. ukigusa for two years au five kufanya kitu fulani mm-hmm. na kwako pia itakuumiza kama msanii mm-hmm. so for me that's why you won't see me doing most of this brand because i'm so particular on the particular commercials or uh, billboards that i touch it has mm-hmm. to be family oriented kinga yes utumizi wa kinga Okay, is more of corporate inclined. So, mawasiliano, 
maji eh, bank search mm. eh, nyumba <laughs> sawa napenda sana tuna sync yes. ni kama kweli hii interview ni kama tulikuwa tu rehearse before mm. manake i really wanted to come into branding wakati nampisha tea yes. nilikuwa nataka utufunze kidogo kuhusu personal branding mm-hmm. individual branding mm-hmm. manake hilo pia tunaona watu wengi wana fail si mm-hmm. actors mm-hmm. peke yake mm-hmm. hata watangazaji mm-hmm. mtu ana rise up mm-hmm. kwa sababu alifanya kitu fulani lakini kidogo anashindwa kuutilize ama kupata pesa kutokana na branding yake. Yes. Hebu tuelimishe ndugu yangu. Branding branding is very simple. Number one, you need to understand who you are. Because branding revolves around you. Who you are. What attributes do you come with? Yeah? Then how do you want other people to perceive you as a brand? Because hawezi sema mini brand kubwa na unaka brand ya elfu moja. How is that now? So how how you package yourself? right because again pay in a it goes deeper like how you look because we usually say be addressed how you are as a person so how do you look unaona so that a corporate can be hey, okay he looks like a serious fellow and then you have to express yourself because always let you unaweza let you deal na wewe mwenyewe how you when you unafauji articulate as much as you might have your own manager your articulation pia You know, so there are so many factors you need to consider communication element the packaging part of how you look very important and then again how do you you know uh, the approach you take especially because right now we in this social media space mm-hmm. how do you relate with people see because kuna kitu unaweza andika mtandaoni mtu kwa like eh okay alisema hivyo because peer companies peers in a kufollow Yeah. So you have to be very careful what message do you portray out there. So it's very important. Iso elements auto keep combined it makes you know that strong uh, brand. Again you need a team because we peke yako hawezi. You need a team to back you for that brand to be visible out there. Oh, yeah. And that's one una kama uko na manager, kama una huyo photographer, kama una huyo stylist. It's mm-hmm. very important to have that team so that it's it's all about them because au ndo wanakufanya unaonekana. Mm-hmm. You grow together as mm-hmm. that particular brand. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ni picha gani? <laughs> Papa zia hiyo oh, sikuelewa. Oh, na ni campus. Sasa nani ata nani ata ata How important is that? Kwa kwa umeingia Kempinski uh-huh. na bouncers eh sema vile ulisema atsikizi eh ndui atsikizi mpaka kwa na mabouncers atsikizi atsikiki hivyo atazani ah hivyo ulisema yes how important is that it, it depends uh, sometimes it's for show mm-hmm. because we in show business wow yes or sometimes you actually need them because pay in a depend mali unaenda imanishi ati haupendi watu but sometimes we love fans Sometimes kuna fans who are extreme extreme. Unajua pia kuna fans au sao una space flan yako pia lazima u maintain. So what to say how? So you need that probably for security or sometimes for showbiz. Showbiz. Yes. Eh asante. Mimi si kuelewa kwa kweli. Kempi ni kuna watu wanasikiliza sasa hivi, kuna watu wanasikiliza kama ni client, kama ni kampuni wanauliza sasa. Kuna mtu pia anasikiliza anasema nataka hiyo suti kutoka kwa Louis. Nataka you know services za Louis watakupata vipi? Get me through social media all my details are there. Mm. Uh, in terms of suits, in terms of branding, in terms of communication strategy, uh just go to instagram at uh, sa, sa ogana brian and uh, facebook you get uh, it's uh, sa brian ogana and my accounts are verified so yeah we sa. initiate that uh, conversation yo sa lazima kwa hapo yo sa lazima yo brian <laughs> ogana ama ogana brian, brian lakini yes. sa sa ipo sa ipo <laughs> <laughs> Utafunzwa branding mpaka nini wewe? Hiyo ni branding. Okay, Kwani you've not learned a thing? Mm. Ukitumia sala lazima pia ukae kama hiyo sala. Oh. Eh. Hiyo sala lazima ukae kama sala. Yes. Sa Brian Ogana. Sa Ogana Brian sa Brian. Inamweka inamka inakuwa it cuts him across inamweka tofauti na wengine. Sa. Yes. Na pia tu hapa mavitu zimeandikwa fins and a pair. Kwa kama kwa kama wameshema walomwandikia wakamwandikia fins and a pair. Coaches. Sa, ah, ah, coaches. Kila mtu 